Okay, now that we have some tools, we can dive into basic algorithms. Let's say you have an array sorted in numerical order, and you want to see if a number that you have exists in this array. If you start at the front and check every number in the array, the time could be big O of n if your number is really big. The same happens if you start at the other end. You could have a really small number and it might end up taking linear time in worst case. However, we could do a cool trick here that takes advantage of the fact that you have a sorted array. Rather than starting at the end, let's say you started in the middle of the array. You could say, is my number bigger or smaller than the one in the middle? Since my number is bigger, I know that it'll have to be in the second half of the array. Now I don't even have to search the first half of the array. The best thing about this strategy is that you can make the same assumption again just on the second half of the array. Check the middle element and then move forward from there. My number is still bigger than the middle of this array, so now I only have to check the last element. And now we're at the end. We've checked 19 and 29, two numbers side by side, and we still don't see 25. Thus, we can conclude 25 does not exist in our array. Guess what? You just learned an algorithm. An algorithm is really just a high-level description of a trick for solving a problem. This one happens to be called binary search.